talking to my chum, and my name is Rashida Leo, and today, as you can see, we're doing another Pick a Card reading, and we are looking at uplifting messages from the universe for you guys right now, so think of it as a little bit of a pick-me-up. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different today, guys, as well as the four, well, not four piles, four cards in front of you guys to choose, I also have four runes out in front of you guys to choose from. So, on the first pile, the first first rule we have is called T Wows, and I'll tell you all about the meaning um when I get into your pile. But this particular rune is called T Wows. Now the second rune is called Haugalows. I don't know whether I'm saying that completely correctly. I learned all that I know about runes through books, um, but I do know that I pronounce it Haugalows. That's how I learned to pronounce it anyway. So that's number two. And then number three, if I can actually grab it, then we have Thaugaus. Um, this is number three here. And then pile number four, we have on Suze. So I'm going to leave these runes out for you guys to choose from. Let me get that in there. Um, so pause the video, do whatever you guys need to do to get in the zone. Choose your rune or choose whatever card you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the comment section and in the description box below. And I shall see you guys in your reading. Hey, pile number one, welcome to your reading. So we are looking at what uplifting messages the universe has for you right now. Now, you guys picked the rune by here. I left it up here. It's called T Wows, and it's also known as the Warion rune, okay? Now, the message that really comes through from this particular rune is that you guys, when I'm tapping into your energies as a collective, I'm feeling such a warm energy and it's it's well it's not funny because I, I, i'm feeling this warm energy but i feel like you guys more than anyone have been through the worst like in your life like you've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations but you've not let them turn you cold and you came into this life with such a pure heart and a pure soul and there may have been times where you lost your way and there may have been times where you completely lost who you were or forgot who you were or had to just go through things that just weren't fair and you kept that beautiful warm light and that beautiful warm heart and you had to go through multiple transformations. I see the world just like throwing you into transformation after transformation after transformation. But what Spirit is showing me is you guys in like, you guys are like the phoenix rising from the ashes is what I'm being told. And you always believed in yourself. And whenever you, whenever there were times where you doubted yourself, there was still a belief in like a higher power or that you'd get out of it. There was always like an outlook of like, when the storm was like coming there was like always an inkling just at the back of your mind like the sun's gonna come out soon the sun's gonna come out soon and i want you guys to know that the universe god whatever you guys believe in they've taken notice of that and i'm i'm hearing the words the universe rewards the bold and the universe has taken notice of that and i'm hearing like blessings are going to come in and the fact that we have this particular room that you guys have chosen um, it's also called the warrior room. I just feel like a lot of you guys say, because you've been through a lot, and I feel like when people go through a lot, they usually turn to spirituality and their faith. And I hear you guys saying a lot, um, I'm on a spiritual journey. I'm on a spiritual journey. And your spirit guides in the universe, like not in the head, like, yep, you are on a spiritual journey, but it's not that you're on a spiritual journey. You are a spiritual being you're on an inner journey you're on an inner journey to finding yourself actually let's rephrase that you are on an inner journey to remembering who yourself is who you truly are and you have gone through all of these challenges but you took them dead on you've never allowed them to let you crumble and when you did crumble you just turned into something even greater you know you got knocked down you came back up and Spirit is saying that you will be rewarded for your resilience because you still have this beautiful heart and I'm hearing you put it into practice, whether it's an actual job role going like in life where you are helping people. I do feel like a lot of you have a higher call and a higher purpose where you help people, um, whether it's like music, cause I'm hearing somebody singing or it's like um, helping animals I'm hearing or 
teaching people, helping the less fortunate. I'm seeing some of you guys working with children. Like, whatever it is, like, your soul mission, your life purpose, like, even if it's not that, you guys just heal and help people in your natural day-to-day -day life. And you possess a lot of gifts because of what you've been through. They're almost like um, tools that you've kind of collected to be able to get through anything. You know what I mean? And you guys are so resilient. And I am... Um, there's a woman coming through to me, um, like a female elderly lady, and she's like embracing me on a hug. So I don't know who that's for. Maybe it's your spirit guides. I do feel like a lot of you guys have like a head spirit guide um, because we have more than one and I feel like one of you guys or a lot of you guys have like a head spirit guide that's like a very a powerful female energy and um she's coming through and she's hugging you um and saying like she's proud of you so I just want to like get that message through um that was a message of the rune you know what I mean that, that's kind of like that rune's about like having a quest being on a quest a quest of self and you guys are on that self journey you're on that inner journey you know what I mean um and I just want to say I'm proud of you too because I just really do feel like you've been through a lot and you've not let it turn you cold and that's kind of like a hard thing to do in a world that we live in right now with everything that's going on but you've stayed pure and you've stayed true to yourself and I'm gonna give you guys a little clap because that little message came through and I absolutely love you guys so let's get into your tarot cards now so we have the three of wands and we have the six of wands we have the two of cups and the ace of wands we have the emperor and the queen of wands there's a lot of wands energy here some of you guys are good manifestors um and we have the five of pentacles and we have the ace of cups beautiful and the back of the deck we have the tower card so right off the back guys with the tower card being um at the back of the deck um yeah you've been through a lot of situations where like things have just been torn from your feet like the rug's been pulled from under your feet things have happened that you've like I feel like you've gone through a lot of things in your life where things have just happened abruptly. You know what I mean? You may have had somebody close to you pass very abruptly. Or you may have had, like... Some of you guys may have had, like, things taken from you abruptly. Like, you may have had to, like, go live with, like, grandparents or, like, a parent removed from you. Or, um... You guys would have to, like, almost be the brave face. Maybe you guys are, like, the oldest of some of your siblings or um a lot of people a lot of your family look to you to be the strong one and you just kind of had to um kind of like put on a brave face and smile when everything's kind of been tumbling down around you and I feel like you don't like to let people know when you're feeling um sad because you don't want to like upset them or anything like that like you like to keep that brave face on um but what's coming through here is like I was saying that was coming through with the room You've always had this optimistic energy. And even if you didn't feel like it in the moment, there was even, I'm seeing like an image of like you guys going through something heavy and you guys crying your eyes out and you guys like, like, you know, we all do, there's nothing wrong with it. I do it too. If there's something really painful that I'm going through, I'll sit there and I'm like, what is the point? And I'll cry. And I see you guys getting to that point sometimes. And then you always pull yourself out of it. Like, um, there's just like a feeling that comes over you after like you've purged or release this energy of like, I'm going to be okay, I'm going to get myself out of this situation, I'm going to um, move on from this situation, like, I, I know I've got the strength in me to get rid of this situation, and even when you feel like there's no hope, there is always something in the back of your mind, like, with the three of wands here, it's really shown to me, there's always something in the back of your mind, that's like, but wait, maybe it isn't over, you know, maybe there's light somewhere else, you know what I mean, and you almost go on this quest to find your inner peace, and find your happiness, and you you stay optimistic and that optimism is faith and that faith is faith in the universe and faith in yourself and the universe is like you have faith in me I have faith in you and the universe is going to reward you back with that and I really do feel with the six of wands like if you see here the six of wands talks about like reaching a pivotal point and um celebrating He's kind of like in a little parade you're on his horse, like happy days, everybody's cheering from him. And I feel like that's literally your spirit guides right now. I feel like you've really stayed optimistic and that's really going to bring about a lot of fruition. And the fact that this guy's on a horse, you guys, um, the horse to me always symbolizes freedom. And I feel like this is you like marching towards your freedom, releasing restraints from your past, rewiring your brain, thinking differently, moving on um liberating yourself from the pain from your past liberating yourself from 
your shortcomings from your past and really stepping into abundance and I just because of your optimism like you're being rewarded with that and I just the universe is really to, um coming through with that message for you guys right now and with with the two of cups guys the two of cups talks about like a relationship um like a divine counterpart and we have the ace of wands so i don't know because there's a lot of wands here so i feel like you guys are practicing the law of attraction and manifesting and if you're not you guys just naturally are good at attracting new in i'm picking up a lot of aries energy here a lot of sagittarius energy um and i'm also picking up a lot of air energy so like gemini aquarius and libra so that could be sun moon rising um or you could just have a lot of it in your chart and take what resonates but you guys whether you know it or not whether you work with the law of attraction or manifesting if you don't i'm going to really encourage you to start doing it because i really feel like you guys work with energy so well like you would be able to manifest whatever it is that you want into life if you wanted to and i think it was activation vibration if you don't know who that is she's an amazing um amazing soul on youtube and she does a lot of amazing videos so i would send i'm definitely gonna send you her away because she's really cool and she was talking about manifesting and i'm sure it was her that said it forgive me if i'm wrong but i'm sure she said it but she said um every obviously as we all know everything around us is energy yeah like i'm energy your energy the cards that you see in front of you are energy and there's energy in everything and when we manifest that's us like sending energy out sending a direction of energy out and because energy is literally laying around all around us <coughs> sorry guys because there's energy laying around all around us if we tell that energy where to go that can work wonders for us that can literally with that intention of like hey i'm going to release weight i'm going to have a soulmate you're telling that energy where to go and it's going to work with you because it's waiting for direction so it's like i feel like if you guys don't manifest i'm really going to tell you guys to start manifesting because i feel like you guys a very high vibrational beings and i feel like you would be able to manifest really well and i feel like you already do it let me have a sip of my water guys my throat is so croaky <clears throat> there we go but i feel like you guys would be really good at manifesting for sure and i feel like if you already do that you already work with the law of attraction or even just subconsciously you have been manifesting a divine counterpart <coughs> do you guys have like a bad throat or something i'm getting like all of a sudden like <clears throat> i'm quite clairsentient so sometimes i can pick up if somebody has a migraine and stuff and like i started doing this reading and i have a bit of a a tingle in my throat um but yeah <laughs> let's carry on um i feel like some of you guys have been subconsciously manifesting a divine counterpart or you have been working towards this divine counterpart and i don't like to label it like soulmate twin flame unless spirit literally say the word and i did literally just hear the word twin flame so i'm just going to put that out there for whatever resonates with you guys um i don't talk about twin flames that much because i've never had a twin flame relationship in this life and i only like to talk about things that i've been through so unless spirits say a word i'm not going to say it but they did say that word so i will drop it in um so i feel like some of you guys have been manifesting that or subconsciously manifesting it and i feel like one of your rewards um because i do feel like a lot of the time in your life you've been quite isolated or you felt quite isolated or like no one got you some of you guys are quite connected with spirits so you feel like when you go through up levelings there's someone around you that truly gets you and i feel like the universe is going to gift you somebody just like you who's been through situations just like you and um I feel like this person may be a fire sign. I don't know why I'm picking up fire. So it could be like Leo, Sag or Aries. Um, or just have a lot of first house, fifth house and ninth house placements. But um, I'm picking up they'll be quite fiery and quite action orientated. And I do feel like there's a soulmate coming in for you. Now, if you're already in a relationship, it doesn't have to be like... Um, obviously, it can be like you could be getting engaged or married. But when I ask Spirit about you guys that are already in relationships, I heard the message that you are really stepping into your own by connecting you, well, not even connecting you've already done it like you've worked on your divine feminine side and you've worked on your divine masculine side and you've like placed them together and you've become very powerful with that and i'm hearing powerful manifester so i feel like and this is for the singles too if you have i feel like you guys have worked on your divine masculine divine feminine and that's making way for you guys to become such good manifestors because you have a more balanced energy and it's like you have that optimism of the divine feminine side where you are connected to spirit and connected to 
you know the higher realms and then you have also mixed that with the divine masculine where you have that um action um orientated energy behind it which makes for like a perfect manifesto so that is something that's coming through here so i feel like one of your gifts is that you can literally work with energy very very well and i'm actually hearing like you know, I was saying I'm clairsentient, I'm actually hearing that you're clairsentient, and I'm also hearing that you're clairaudient, so if you guys have been getting high, um, um, high-pitched ringings in your ear, that's like a download from spirit, I get that quite a lot, or if you guys are just like feeling the presence of spirit a little bit stronger than usually, or maybe I'm actually hearing some of you guys have always felt that since you were like young, because I, I just picked up like I've, I, one of you guys just thought I've had that since I was a little girl like I, one of you just said that um in your mind <laughs> and it just kind of came through so I feel like some of you guys have had that since you were young you've been able to sense when spirit were around or other people were around or just energies were around in general I feel like a lot of you guys since you were young have been able to pick up on um if people didn't like you if people um felt some type of way about you and I'm also being told that you've been guided a lot with animals because I do feel like you guys really strongly connect with animals and spirits saying like they guide you a lot with animals so either you see a lot of animals or like say now like to get out of danger or get out of a situation that's uncomfortable spirit would like guide you in a different direction with animals um because that's happened to me a few times where I may have been in like danger or something like that and spirits like guided me down a different path and I've noticed it because there's been animals down that path and they've been like, like there's been like a bird flying in my face and it's taken me down a path and I've like diverted something. That's happened to me a lot and I feel like that's happened to you a lot. And I feel like you deal with a lot, like not deal, you see a lot of synchronicities, a lot like numbers, feathers, coins, um, words even, do you know what I mean? Like words. And I just feel like you guys are really divinely guided. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are really old souls. You've been here before and then we have the emperor and the queen of wands yeah that's literally like divine masculine and divine feminine like you're at a phase now or you're coming into a phase where you no longer put up with people's ish and you put in boundaries and you look at people with discernment i feel like in the past because you're such a pure soul sometimes when my pure souls and my empaths we can sometimes attract in like narcissist pe narcissistic people or people that want to take advantage of us and i feel like that's happened to you a lot people have dimmed your light people have taken from you but i really feel like you guys have reached a pivotal point pivotal point in your life where you're like no more and you're looking at people with this discerned energy and i'm hearing you guys say your problems are not my responsibility like you're the type of people you if you see somebody that you love you will literally um bend over backwards for them do everything that you can but i feel like sometimes you'll do that and then they that the people around you get so used to it that they want more from you and then they don't help themselves and then they want more from you and it's like you almost in the past would neglect yourself and i see you guys being like i'll give you every tool that i had i'll give you every bit of information i had i'll give you the map to get through what it is you're going through but if you're gonna like stand there and not take my advice i can't hold your hand and walk through it because i got things to do and you're learning that you can help people but not to the point where you self-sacrifice and that's something that you're learning and that's something that your spirit guides are really strongly working with you through and this divine feminine energy is working with you through there's a there's a female energy coming through here and with the queen of wands i just again like you guys are really i feel like over the next year i feel like your psychic abilities are going to develop and i really just see you like really going through like another awakening or just going reaching a point of like higher consciousness where you're like wanting to learn more wanting to understand more i see some of you guys traveling some of you guys may travel with a counterpart um that's maybe where you meet someone i do see a bit of traveling um and it traveling doesn't have to indicate like going here there and everywhere i mean i know it's like corona times right now but it could just mean traveling within yourself and finding new things that you love um to do that's what i'm hearing now we have the five of pentacles and the ace of cups and this has just one clear message the five of pentacles talks about loss and this is something that you are no stranger to um i'm really picking that up and spirit is saying no more you do not have to deal with this anymore and i mean obviously in life we you know losing things and stuff that's inevitable but the dark times are over you guys have been through more than what most people have and spirit is saying 
now it's time for your ace of cups now it's time for divine love now it's time for abundance there's you know you're rewiring your brain and seeing that to live life it doesn't have to be a struggle and i feel like your optimism is what's brought this on the universe is offering you look with the hand out the universe is offering you this ace of cups and i'm hearing well done and i'm hearing peace of mind like i feel like you guys are reaching a peace of mind um so now i'm gonna pull your oracle cards this has been a really long pile so sorry that it's long some of you guys like the long piles some of you guys don't but when spirit want to talk, spirit want to talk. You know what I mean? So I just let them talk at this point. Um, so let's pull your oracle cards. So pile one. Pile one. Hello. Wow. Okay, so we have mirror guardian take time to reflect. Spirit wants you to look back at how far you have come. And really pat yourself on the back look at who you were a year ago look at who you were six months ago look at who you were three months ago take time out to reflect on how far you've come because you've been on a beautiful journey and even though there's been a lot of pain so much beauty has come and is going to still come as a result you guys have a lot of good karma coming in for you guys um and spirits really saying like take a look back at how far you've come and really applaud yourself i feel like you guys have been through so much that like you've never had time to stop and be like whoa that was hard you know what i mean and you've never had time to be able to stop and look back and be like wow i'm i'm a g for going through that like i'm 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 like i'm hard you know what i mean i'm a hard person for going through that like i'm a, i'm a cool person for going through that like giving yourself a pat on the back you don't do it and spirit saying do it celebrate how far you've come because they're showing me a baby cup lion and then they're showing me like a big big huge lion so it's like you've grown into this big lion you were the baby cub and now you're this big majestic lion that's how spirits showing your energy to me and that's beautiful and then we have magic guardian unlock the magic within yeah you guys are going to start getting message from spirit a lot more because you're more connected with yourself um it's going to come in a lot easier for you i see a lot of you guys may start seeing auras um i'm hearing that i feel like some of you guys may see start seeing people's auras and some of you guys may start seeing um lights like blues and yellows and greens like around you and that spirit okay um but i do want to say you guys um make sure that you are just protecting your energy not because of anything negative but just make sure that you are protecting your energy um grounding yourself um maybe get yourself some crystals to protect you yeah guys definitely make sure that you guys are getting some crystals or like maybe some florida water some sage um just to make sure that you are protecting yourself if you are going into spiritual work um but there's nothing to worry about guys i feel like you're really really protected but like anything just like take the precautions and make sure that you are protecting yourself so your energy doesn't get drained um because i do see a lot of you guys connecting with spirit over the next year if it's something that you're interested in and the next card that we have guys is imrama where are you being called to journey to so i feel like spirit's really calling you guys to like listen to your intuition because i do feel like a lot of there's a lot of karmic shifts there's a lot shifting in your life and i really do feel like you are being taken on a detour like you're, you're on a new phase in your life and i feel like there's a lot of hobbies and a lot of interests that are really gonna like spark up and really get like that fire burning inside of you and spirit are really calling you to um step towards those with grace and really listen into your intuition because i feel like there's a lot of opportunities that are going to come in for you in this next phase of your life pile one pile one so the final card we have for you guys is the b and what i'm really picking up here guys is you guys like i said have this beautiful radiant light and i feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of other people around you guys um a lot of other people around you that are on your higher frequency you're probably going to be like drawing in your like soul tribe and with that being said i feel like there may be a lot of like communal work a lot of humanitarian work that you may be doing or you may join like um a particular job role with particular people where you can really bring your artistry forward i feel like you guys are really creative so you're really like stepping into this job role where you can bring that creativity forward and 
I'm hearing like just don't overwork yourself make sure that you're protecting your energy and that you are giving out some time for yourself um but yeah I just feel like the universe is going to reward you with a lot of beautiful connections and a lot of abundance to come um and yeah i feel like do you know the bee i feel like you guys may see a lot of bees i'm actually hearing you guys may see a lot of bees over the next year you may have already been seeing them but just look out because it may be like a spirit totem is what i'm actually hearing for you guys so maybe look up the meaning of the bee spirit and you may find that that may be a totem for you guys um so i have a link in the description box um underneath your pile for what song i channel for you guys so definitely make sure to go listen to that i really I really hope that you enjoy this reading i'm sending you guys so much love and abundance and hopefully i'll see you guys soon hey pal number two welcome to your reading so we are looking at what uplifting messages the universe and your spirit guides have for you guys right now now the rune that you guys picked if i can grab it the rune that you guys picked is the how galows rune which is also known as the rune of disruption now what this rune really indicates is like obstacles but these obstacles that happen it's kind of reminding me of like Ganesha sometimes Ganesha puts obstacles on your path for you to learn from or to send you on a path that will take you to um a greater um like a greater lesson you know and I'm really hearing like you guys have a lot of fiery energy in you you guys have a lot of abundance like you guys came into this life like I have all these ideas I have all this, these things that I want to do and it's like you are literally like this knight of cups here i will get into the tarot in a minute but you just had all these ideas i feel like you guys maybe have a, may have a lot of aries in your um energy if i'm not mistaken maybe a bit of sagittarius but you probably are a cardinal sign um the cardinal signs are aries capricorn cancer and libra you may have them quite prominent but I feel like you're extreme innovators like you know what you want or you create things your mind's always like oh my god let's do this oh my god let's do that and I feel like you sometimes forget to look at the present and the minor details you just look at the big picture you guys may have a lot of Aquarius in your chat too and I feel like by doing that you you rush towards like one idea and um you don't stop and look at well you didn't used to stop and look at um what other avenues there could be and i really feel like the universe has really taught you lessons through your life to really ground yourself into the present moment to really um stop and think and really f tap into your intuition um because i feel like you're very fiery very action orientated and with this this disruption card it's like you've always been called or like the universe has always like put things on your path which you in the past saw as like blockages but it was actually the universe like wait stop let's reevaluate because i have a better path for you that you would have missed if you were running towards it so in the past you look at all these things coming on your path like oh my god it's a blockage oh my god i failed oh my god nothing's going right for me but actually it was like divine intervene like the divine was like intervening into your life i couldn't think of the word it's divine intervention but the divine is like intervening in your life like but wait i have a better calling for you and i feel like where you're at now you're kind of like you probably can see that looking back at your life now you're like oh my god okay i get it now i get why i had to do this and i had to do that you know sometimes when we hear about celebrities and they're like they had like a particular role and then they didn't get it or it got cancelled and they were so upset but then like a couple of weeks later they had this role for like a better tv show and that's what kind of like catapulted them into fame i feel like you guys have had to learn that like you get knocked down and then you try again but it wasn't even that you were getting knocked down you were just being put on a different path so that's what that rune is really representing to me um because the universe versus like looking at what you're moving towards and like nah 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 we're gonna go bigger we're gonna go harder we're gonna go stronger you deserve more you know what i mean do not settle and i just feel like that's like a theme that has played out in your life and if it has and it's just like you may be feeling right now stuck but the universe is like nah 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 nah, nah. 
wait, you know, just wait, just wait and see what I've got in store for you. That's what the universe is saying. So if you are coming to this reading, com like feeling completely stuck because something isn't working, it's because something else is in the works for you. Okay, so let's get into your tarot cards, actually get into the masters for you. So we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Devil, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Page of Wands, and we have the Four of Wands. So, yeah, you guys have a lot of ideas, a lot of love in your heart that you just have for a lot of people. You guys have a lot of ideas, a lot of creativity. Like, you guys are really creative. I don't know why, like, spirits show me, like, images sometimes when they're trying to explain. And when they want to show me, like, creative and, like, artistic, they show me a parrot because, like, they have loads of colors. So they're showing me a parrot. <laughs> um, but, like, I just really feel like you guys are like really artistic you guys are really creative and whatever it is that you do you have like this is why i said i was picking up some aquarius because you have like an innovative mind like you forward think and that's really beautiful and i feel like you guys are really good at manifesting you may work with like herbs and spells and things like that you may be into like working with the elements i'm here right now like just law of attraction in general but it's just like you have so much optimism and so much faith but then i feel like the universe because you're like jumping towards it like the universe will like put something on your path and then you're like oh my god and sometimes that can make your head kind of like go into a spin you feel very restrained because the devil card literally talks about like being restrained so it's like you um sometimes you literally feel like i'm surprised the eight of swords didn't come up because sometimes you literally feel like you're being held back um but the universe is saying that you have beautiful drive and beautiful optimism and that you can find your way out of anything like because you have this beautiful how can i explain it it's like this really like abundant mind and i'm being taken to the third eye like you have a very beautiful third eye and spirit is saying like I'm here in the world is literally your oyster and I feel like there is a project that you guys have been thinking about setting out towards or there is something that you've been um working on it's actually I'm being taken online so it could be like you could have like a business that you're starting online or like maybe YouTube um Etsy something like that and it's something that you're now putting energy into and I really do feel like it's going to bring you abundance with the ace of pentacles like the universe is going to bring you abundance of money in some type of way like finances that is going to have you feeling less restricted I feel like some of you guys feel a little bit restricted because of money right now or just like where you come from or like some of you guys is like home environments you don't feel is the best type of setting for you but i feel like there's a particular thing that you're working on right now that you're going to see a return of investments in but spirit is saying to like really not go into your head too much and really ground yourself um and really connect with mother gaia mother earth because i really do feel like grounding yourself and being connected into the present moment you'll be able to see your way out of whatever situation that you're feeling restraint from and i feel like there's a particular project that you're thinking about right now or moving towards right now or even like a job role and if it's a job role i see you getting it and i see you getting like a lot of financial abundance coming in but there's like a particular idea that you want to work with and it's like i really see it bringing a lot of peace to you you know what i mean and the fact that there's loads of greenery at the bottom of this ace of pentacles like spirits i feel like you may get a lot of your ideas out in nature like so if you live near like a forest or like a field or a beach definitely get out into nature because i really do feel like this would really help bring these energies in i don't know whether you guys are spiritual spiritual like i'm not quite sure but um, like I'm not picking it up too heavy you may be I'm just like that's not the theme of like the reading but I really do feel like you will get I, I feel like the way spirit connects with you through that is through your creativity and your ideas um they're like divine ideas and I feel like they'll come through a lot stronger when your mind is silenced in nature you know what I mean um so that's what spirit's really pushing you towards but I really do feel like I'm just seeing somebody like having any obstacle in front of them and it's like even when you feel like you're 
you're down because like something's coming to like block a path or whatever it's like you literally will look at it and you'll be like oh my god like why is this happening you'll get a little frustrated but then you'll literally carve out another path and that control that determination is what's bringing you to your success here with the ace of swords that's what's bringing you to your success like your determination and the universe is really like clapping for you right now so i'm gonna clap for you um because i really do feel like with the page of wands it's a very innovative energy and i just feel like there's an idea that you have that is literally going to bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of recognition i am being told and i just see with the four of wands here like you guys building something from for yourself from the ground up some of you guys are going to be entrepreneurs for sure i just see you guys building something from the ground up building a like you're in your own lane is what spirit is saying they're not really telling me what it is but they're just saying you're in your own lane and one of these ideas that you are thinking of is going to bring you a lot of success a lot of abundance um and i feel like you guys like to dance to the beat of your own drum too so it's like you don't like anyone to come and help you um which is fine but like just no spirits working with you because spirit want the best for you so if there ever is like um a pathway that ends up blocked it's because like it's like a divine detour, you know what I mean? You're going somewhere better. And I just, I feel like you've felt in the past, like everything's been a bit of a like battle with the five of ones at the back of the deck. You felt like everything's been a bit of a battle, but Spirit is saying like that's over. And I feel like to have these energies flow a lot easier for you, like Spirit's really calling you to ground because you guys are so like, <gasps> I'm being told, like your mind's literally going boom, 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 boom. Like I can, re I'm really picking up on it and Spirit's really calling you guys to like ground and what I find crazy with all this grounding energy is the two oracle cards that came out for you guys is hold the space. And can you see the greenery that we have here? And then to follow that, we literally have the earth guardian stay rooted and grounded. So it's like spirits really calling you to ground yourself in nature, ground yourself in earth. The fact that there's so much greenery on those cards, like ground yourself, connect with nature, like sit in like a room and meditate, quiet your mind. Because I just sit in a room, meditate, turn your phone off sit in silence, see what comes through and have a notebook and just see what comes out. Because I feel like you guys are literal visionaries. You guys might even end up creating something that hasn't been created before. You know what I mean? The I'm literally hearing with you guys, the sky's the limit because of how like your brain is. Like your brain's so big. And I feel like the universe is really working through you to get their ideas through you because you are the one that can really put it out there because you have so much fire and so much fire and so much go again and energy in you and i just feel like you guys are really going to do something great with yourselves like and i want you guys to know that so if you guys have come into this reading feeling stuck just know i really do see like a really bright future for you and i really do see a lot of abundance coming in as to one of these ideas that i'm hearing some people like make fun of you for these ideas and i'm hearing some of you some people are like oh my god like that's so crazy why can't you just like do something normal but it's like no you know what i mean no because if you think about it like do you think when like eminem wanted to be a rapper like everyone around him was like oh my god yeah that's like the best thing like people were probably like come on get a real job you know what i mean it's the same with anybody like people probably like People who made stuff like Amazon, like, I don't know who actually made Amazon, I don't know the name of the guy, but, like, you know, people who make these big inventions, people were probably, like, bro, get a real job, you know what I mean? But they went and did something, and now they've created a name for themselves because they took that initiative, and you have that same spark as these people, as these innovators. Like, I'm really picking up innovative energy from you guys. Um, The next card we have, once again, <laughs> get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive connect with nature <laughs> so yeah spirit's really calling you to connect with nature i really do feel like you're gonna get a lot of your um you see how she's meditating as well oh my god i didn't even notice that she's meditating in nature as well yeah definitely get into nature i feel like you'll get a lot of um energies um come through a lot of wisdom coming through and then we have the swan spirit so this is all about balance and healing and um going deep within ourselves so spirit saying like you guys have a really healing energy and i just feel like whatever it is that you're working on it may be to do with something that literally heals people so you could be working in like the wellness industry or you could just be into like reiki tarot reading astrology things like that or maybe you just like you writing books or like your words or singing or singing bowls sound therapy like there's something that you guys want to do that just heals people or you just have this very healing 
um energy about you you know what I mean you have a very high vibrational very happy energy about you even when like you get like kind of downtrodden you don't stay that way for long and I feel like there's abundance going to come in as a result like financial abundance coming in as a result um, of that and you have this beautiful duality too you know what I mean like you're very um, optimistic and bright and then you're also like very action-y and go gettery so it's like you have this duality that this one card's kind of reminding me of um, there's like two sides to you you know what I mean um so that's all i have for you guys today i really hope that you enjoyed i do have a song for you guys in the description box um and in the comment section um underneath your pile so um definitely give that a listen um once you were done with the reading if you would like um i hope you guys have a beautiful day i'm sending you guys lots of love and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you for watching Hey, pile number three, welcome to your reading. So if you chose this particular stone, this stone is called Thalgoz. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and this is also known as the stone of like having a breakthrough. It's also called breakthrough. So with that being said, I feel like you guys are either in a transitional period or you've just been through one. I don't feel like you're gearing up to go through one. I feel like you're either in the midst of it or you're um, just coming out of it. So you're either still in the cocoon ready to break down the wall or you're just like stepping out of the cocoon now. That is the energy that I'm really picking up for you guys now. I really do feel like a lot of you are in the midst of this breakthrough and I feel like you guys have had to heal from a lot from your past and when I say that I mean like for you guys I feel like it's more relationship more to do with um you guys are definite um, empaths and I feel like you've dealt with a lot of narcissists or you've dealt with like connections and relationships with people that really hurt you and really stole your light I feel like in the past you kind of gave your energy and your light to people and you've kind of been on this like journey to kind of like find your light or kind of like reclaim your light back get your light back and I feel like some of you guys are in the midst of it right now so it may seem a little bit confusing um and like things are falling away which honestly guys don't feel scared about that that happens when we are up leveling things fall away around us that do not serve us so if you guys are going through a period where things are falling away from you right now that is happening because the universe is going to replace it with something better nothing falls away from us if it isn't supposed to okay um but i really do feel like right now you're a little bit in the midst and you're like oh my god i don't even know where i'm going but like i wanted to share this with you guys when you look back at your past and you look at everything you've been through i don't know whether it's the same for you it is for me but um when you look back at your past and you see um for yourself from like 10 years ago five years ago three years ago you can see how every moment and every decision happened and it happened for you to learn and go through and it led you somewhere right and when you look back you can see the dots being connected but when you're in the the moment you don't really see what's in front of you it's like what all, all of us were walking forward with blind faith you know what I mean we're walking forward with a blindfold on and it's like you guys are really in this confusion phase more than most where you're like oh my god I really don't know where I'm going but I'm telling you guys look back at the past and see how everything connected and worked out and just believe that that is going to keep happening in the future because everything's working for you and I really do feel like either you're you're because you are going through a spiritual awakening or some type of up leveling in your life up levels don't always have to be spiritual so if you guys aren't spiritual don't worry but if you are then you're going through a spiritual up leveling an ascension type of leveling and i just feel like you guys are going to hit a breakthrough very very soon and realize why things had to go the way that they did i feel like there was a particular point in your life sorry guys this is a really loud one um there was a particular point in your life where you were focused on the past a lot and old connections and missing old connections um and i really do feel like you are purging them out right now or some of you guys have already purged it and you're waiting for the new and you're like now what so let's get into your tarot cards and see what's going on here and see what is coming in for you because i do see a lot of abundance coming in for you so if you are in that period of like oh my god i don't know what's happening i'm about to change that for you and give you guys a little bit of a little bit of faith here so um let's go into your tarot cards we have the three of cups and we have the six of cups we have the five of swords and the ten of swords we have the two of pentacles and the eight of cups we have the lovers i had to cover their parts up with crystals because they were very naked and it was very graphic and i didn't know how 
that would come across so i thought i would cover them modesty with a carnelian and a red jasper because it was very graphic okay um so uh yeah we had the lovers and then we have the eight of wands and the back of the deck we have the ace of swords so i really do feel like you like I said, for a while, you were thinking of the past a lot. You were missing the past. You were feeling nostalgic about the past. I do feel like you have gone through a spiritual awakening. And the reason I'm saying that is because I do feel like there was a lot of people around you. And now I feel like there's not a lot of people in the physical around you right now. And that usually happens from a spiritual up leveling. Um, the universe likes to remove people from our life that are kind of like taking us off our path so that we can really connect with ourselves without any distractions. And then whatever is supposed to still be in our life will stay and whatever is not supposed to be will go. And I feel like this particular um, shift, this karmic kind of shift, um, you were not so happy about it. And I do feel like you held on to it. Honestly, guys, there's nothing wrong with that. I've done that before because uh, I don't like change I feel like you guys have a lot of fixed energies in your chat you may be like um a Taurus Scorpio Leo or Aquarius Sun Moon Rising I just have a lot of that in your chat um but you guys I feel like you guys aren't so fun with change and I just feel like you guys have been thinking about the past a lot and what went wrong and you know how was everything turned out the way that it did I feel like there was a lot of people you put a lot of energy into because I feel like you guys are beautiful big hearts. I really do. And I feel like you put a lot of energy into people, especially relationships. And I feel like you were stabbed in the back by some people here with the Ten of Swords. Like you were stabbed in the, the back and like people like walked away. And I feel like this left you feeling really unbalanced. And I feel like you gave your power away or your energy away to people and you gave a lot of energy to people and they just didn't give it back to you. And I feel like you've been stuck in this loop because it's like you've wanted closure. And I feel like you've come to the realization now that only you can give yourself that closure. And I really do feel like you have made the decision over the past at least year to walk away from what doesn't ser serve you. And you've started to embrace the change. You know what I mean? And you've started listening to your intuition and listening to um what it is that was making you feel low and you know stepping away from that and I feel like in doing that it's spurred on this awakening it's spurred on this new energies and I feel like the universe I'm hearing like over the last six months or maybe you're still going through it if you are feeling really low on your heart space because I'm being taken to your heart space and your solar plexus feeling like heavy energies that's because the universe is releasing all the old out of you and to release it you have to feel it for it to come up but what's happening is it's clearing out the old to make way for the new the universe cannot hand you new abundance and new experiences in life if they haven't already released the old and the universe is saying it's time to release that now because it doesn't serve you and i have so much to give you and i feel like you've done so much deep like healing like i i feel like some of you guys have actually been doing shadow work um and i just feel like you guys have really been releasing a lot that doesn't serve you and honestly this hasn't gone unnoticed because the fact that we have the eight of wands here like that talks about rapid energy coming in and i feel like if you guys are in a stagnant energy or if you guys are in a very um lonely energy right now honest to god keep that faith and keep staying optimistic because literally like you know sometimes when people manifest or some people have abundance coming in it comes in like bit by bit it's like oh here's something that's coming in now and like here's something that will come in in three months i feel like what is for you is just greater than what you even expected and i feel like that's why there's like a long wait you know what i mean because like good things take time i just hear that hannah montana song they say the good things take time. I just heard that in my mind. I don't know. Like, I just heard that. So, uh, that, like, Spirit, I like using that song to kind of confirm. And um, that's really come through. And I feel like you guys are, like, waiting. And you're waiting. And you're, like, where's my abundance? Where's my, like, new energy coming in? Like, where's this? Where's the lift of this heavy energy? And literally, it's just going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Like, here's abundance. Like, you get abundance. You get abundance. Like, that's literally the universe to you. You're like, here's, like, money, prosperity. Here's a new love. Here's like, positive energies. Like, I feel like the universe is literally, it's going to come and hit you like a ton of bricks. Like, boom. Here it is. And I feel like one thing, if you guys are single, the fact that we have the lovers card, I really do feel like um, you guys are going to receive, like, a soulmate or a divine counterpart. Um, and it's gonna like hit you like a ton of bricks like you'll just I feel like it, spirit aren't gonna explain because they're saying it has to happen like um 
they want you to not expect it because that, that's the whole point of it they're saying but like it's literally going to be like you're like walking in a store and like you just like meet someone or like it's just something that just happens really abruptly maybe you go for a walk and you meet someone or it's just like you may start working with someone randomly it's something that you wouldn't expect and i feel like a lot of the abundance that's coming in for you it's coming in in a way that you wouldn't expect it and I feel like what you're being channel ch challenged with is stay, like keeping optimistic. But I'm hearing like, stay optimistic and don't let your mind overthink because I feel like because of people that have hurt you in the past, you may think that it's going to get taken away from you or you may think that people are going to be doing you dirty when true connections come into your life. And Spirit is saying like, you've learned that lesson now. So make way for the true connections. Sometimes we have to learn the negative before we get the positive and i really do feel like that's been your case so i feel like you've dealt with the worms you've dealt with the snakes now you're like embracing like true authentic people that truly love you and give you the same energy back and that is coming in for you and the fact that we have the ace of swords like that's literally clarifying like you have abundance coming in so don't worry at all don't keep thinking of the past keep thinking to the future keep thinking positively because i really do feel like because of your hard work and the boundaries that you've put in and just the shift in energy i feel like you've shifted your perception that's what's bringing it in but spirit's saying like keep your mind open because it's literally gonna fall into your lap and you're gonna be like whoa like it's literally like one day you're just gonna be like oh damn i feel a bit low and then the next day it's like oh my god you know how did all of this come in you know what i mean and spirit is saying you have a lot to be grateful for in regards to what's coming in for you. You know what I mean? And make sure you're staying in that energy of gratitude because gratitude, um, putting that energy of gratitude out attracts more things to be grateful for, okay? Um, and then we have the fire ant spirit. Now, um, but anyway, like I was saying with the ant spirit, I feel like you guys are extreme empaths. I feel like you um take on a lot of people's energy and spirit's really calling you to look after your energy so make sure that you're surrounding yourself with um so maybe some grounding crystals make sure that you are like in water like grounding yourself having spiritual baths um get out in nature you know what i mean like make sure you're protecting your energy and you are putting in those boundaries because i feel like you can get affected by a lot of people um and then we have the spring card to see your seeds grow. So, do you know, like, sometimes when we plant a seed, it doesn't, like, sprout straight away. And sometimes it looks like the plant isn't actually getting any bigger from, like, the from our eye level you know what i mean but actually underneath there's like a lot going on and like it's actually growing really well that's what i'm like really hearing like you it may not seem like things are shifting right now but behind the scenes things are and spirits really working to have things shift for you so don't get derailed don't get disappointed like abundance is coming in for you the universe is really working to bring that in for you because of the shift that you have put in I, i'm hearing like you've done a lot of self-love self-confidence and just a lot of work in regards to your boundaries and just like past energies clearing out past energies you know what i mean and then we have animal guardian trust your instinct so if you feel like you should be like moving away from a particular person, um, stepping away from a particular person, like listen to that. I feel like sometimes you guys second doubt, like second guess yourself um, about certain like projects or ideas or people. And so we're saying if something feels off, listen to that because I feel like you have really good animal instincts. Okay. Um, and then we have the awakening cut. I literally said you were going through an awakening. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being. Integration. Yeah you guys are moving into a complete new karmic phase in your life that is going to bring a lot of clarification you know what i mean the rune that you picked was the breakthrough rune like you are going to reach a breakthrough and realize like wow i had to go through this to get this i understand now you know what i mean um so there's a lot of peace of mind coming in for you as well as abundance like that's just that's beautiful it really isn't it and i when i tap in with your energies like i'm just seeing one of your spirit guides like let out this really big smile it could be your higher selves like i'm just seeing because i tap into your collective energy and i'm just seeing like a really big smile so i really do feel like you guys are gonna have a lot to smile for over the next year so def definitely keep that positive um energy and allow it to come in um so guys like always i have um a song channel for you guys it's in the comment section and in the description box underneath um the timestamp for your pile so definitely go listen to that after this um video if you guys would like um i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i hope it gave you clarity and i hope it lifted your energies uh, i'm sending you guys so much love thank you for watching my video and hopefully i'll see you guys soon 
Hey panel number four, welcome to your reading. So you guys picked the rune on Suze and this particular rune, the energy that I'm getting here guys is you have a lot of psychic wisdom and I don't even feel like a lot of you know it. Like you guys have a lot of I'm being taken to your crown chakras more than anything. I just feel like you're your old souls, whether you realize it or not, and you have a lot of wisdom, whether this particular life for you is supposed to be a spiritual one or not. I'm kind of getting a mixed bag when I delve into that, but you guys have a lot of wisdom and you guys are just very wise beyond your years, is what I'm being told. And I feel like spirit communicate with you even when you're not realizing it you know sometimes when you get thoughts in your head um and you weren't thinking about it a minute ago and it could be like an idea for something new or it could be like um just like a song that uplifts you that's spirit working with you and I feel like especially I'm being taken to like the past two years I really feel like your spirit guides have been really in close and just like really working with you because I feel like you've had a hard time of it in regards to your like emotions or maybe like mental health um and I really do feel like the universe has been guiding you whether you've seen it or not and um this particular rune as well the other name for this rune is like signal so it's like you without even realizing it some of you are real realizing it some of you is just subconscious but like spirits connecting with you through music through numbers on your phone through like you know seeing 11 11 22 22 33 33 um i'm also seeing you guys see the number seven everywhere if you guys are seeing that just know seven is a very spiritual number it talks about wisdom um and higher knowledge and i really do feel like you guys are um you guys are just receiving a lot of messages from the universe like a lot of synchronicities and i feel I i'm being shown like some of you guys so you know you think of a particular job that you might think that you'd enjoy doing and then all of a sudden like you'll see an advert of it on the tv and then you'll see like and add about it in like the paper like I'm just seeing like the universe trying to guide you in that way and it's probably like for some of you so so small that you don't even realize it I'm also being shown number plates like spirit are showing you numbers on number plates or like wording on number plates um that's another thing that's coming through and just listen to that with this rune I'm really picking up the energy of like please just listen to that because that is the universe trying to guide you okay like even if you don't believe in that side of things like just be open to that you know what i mean um so let's get into your tarot cards now i don't want to say the reason i've got crystals here is some of these cards are quite graphic and especially with the male body parts on like the devil card some of the body parts are it's they're very prominent and i didn't know um if that was like allowed on youtube so i thought i'd cover it up with some pretty crystals so i have but anyway guys we have the tarot cards here so we have the devil the chariot the knight of pentacles we have the tower we have the star we have the fool we have the magician and we have the three of pentacles now guys this is literally one two three four five you have six major arcana cards so spirits are really coming through heavy with the message here now i really do feel like try was saying i was they were highlighting two years i really do feel like you've been on a really transformational journey over the last two years and it hasn't been i'm being shown like a gray fog over your head like a gray fog like you just haven't felt as good as you have done in the past and you've just felt lost or you've just felt a bit confused or you've just felt like maybe you guys have been suffering with a lot of emotions um for some of you guys you may have been suffering with it with addictions and that addictions don't have to be like vices addictions can be like um food you know what i mean like food or like codependency relationships or like literally just prescribe oh my god i can never say this word i always sound a fool when i can't pronounce words i can't say it. procrastinating that's the word um but some it could literally just be that for you guys but you guys have just like felt like you were going backwards but actually you were supposed to be going through what you were going through to really realize what it was that you want out of life like i'm hearing the word soul searching like you've been soul searching over the past two years and i feel like it's almost like with the with the knight of pentacles here he's like paused and the tower card it's like 
you feel like your life's literally been put on pause um and everything's been like tumbling down if this is the case guys this sounds to me like a spiritual awakening or just like if you don't believe in spiritual awakenings you guys have just been going through an up leveling and when we go through up levelings in our life a lot of the old falls away so the new can take its, its place and i feel like you guys have found this really confusing and really hard I completely understand guys i remember like going through it and i was just like what is going on i was clinging to everything i could but what was absolutely beautiful is in the actual right away deck um well in any tarot deck after the tower card comes the star and the reason that the star comes after the tower deck is because the tower is all about like removing everything that no longer serves everything's kind of falling apart around you and then straight after that comes the star and the star is all about rebirth that is a really loud plane. And the star is all about rebirth. The star is all about renewal. And the fact that the star came out right after the tower and you guys is reading. Guys, if things are still falling apart around you, if things are st still feeling like uncomfortable for you, just know that if it's not happening now, then it's going to happen really soon. And I'm literally being shown within the next three months, three to six months, a huge shift and all this newness just coming in for you. And the fact that we have the Fool here to clarify the, the star, the Fool is like the first card in the tarot deck. It's about like embarking on a new beginning, starting a new beginning. That is what I see coming in for you guys. That is what the universe is blessing you with and i feel like it's going to happen because i feel like you've had this cloudy energy like you've had a bit of a, a gray cloud on your head and i really just feel like this cloud is going to just be lifted and you are just gonna have this whole renewal just like energetically i feel like you're gonna feel like brand new i'm hearing the words glow up like i'm just and when i say glow up I mean like glow up of the mind like you guys are just going to see things in a different perspective and it's going to be in such a light energy because you came through the darkness you're a lot stronger you have a lot more wisdom and i just feel like there may be certain spiritual gifts that come through or you just may be a lot more intuitive than before you know what i mean and with the magician i'm hearing that you guys are extremely good manifestors and i do see if you guys are worried about work or something like that right now all I just heard in my mind was the universe is taking care of it before I even went to say what I was going to say. So the, don't worry about money or anything like that because the more you worry about something, the more you're putting that energy out about worry, the more it's harder for blessings to come in. Spirit's telling you to live in abundance and live in with this prosperous mind, even if it isn't in front of you right now. Because the more you tell the universe, like, yeah, I'm abundant. Yeah, I have all of this money. Like, yeah, I have this. Yeah, I have that. The universe is hearing that. And the universe will give you more of that. So match that vibration, vibrational energy of what it is that you want. And I really do feel like these grey clouds that have been on your head, they're literally going to um they're literally going to lift and you are just gonna be feeling a lot better and i see you manifesting a lot manifesting in work because i feel like some of you guys may be out of work i see you guys manifesting work i see you guys manifesting in like more money i see some of you guys manifesting like business opportunities some of you guys may be going into entrepreneurship there's certain hobbies that you guys have and you haven't worked on them because you just haven't known how to get them off the ground or it's just like oh it's just a hobby i really feel like they're telling me to tell you to look into one of those hobbies because I feel like you're going to make money from them. That's literally what I'm being told. And I just see like there's a lot of wisdom within you guys. And I just feel like I just see a lot of abundance coming in. But like the universe is it's almost like the universe was preparing you to be able to manifest this in. You know what I mean? And with the eight of pentacles, it's like you may feel like you've been stagnant for like the universe is highlighting the last two years. So say now you do feel stagnant for the last two years. The universe is saying, well, it looks that way because society kind of tells you like you have to be doing this and that and grinding and whatever. But it's like, actually, you've been doing inner work. And the more inner work you do, the more easier it is for you to manifest more abundance. You know what I mean? Because there's less restriction and there's more mental power. And I feel like you guys have really been building up your mental power, your emotional power like you guys have really been working on that and building it up like controlling your mind controlling yourselves like that's what you've been learning 
like that's really what's coming through here like you've gone on this inner journey this inner quest you've been fighting your demons for some time i'm being told and now it's time to like bask in the light you know what i mean because you you've i'm just hearing you've earned your stripes like so, like one of your spirit guys just said you've earned your stripes you know what i mean like you've this was a little journey that you had to go on to reach this abundance because it's like now it's going to taste all the more sweeter you know what i mean and i do see like there's a new friend coming in for you guys um it could be a group of friends for some of you guys but i just feel like there is a new friend coming in um they feel like they have more masculine energy than feminine um, and when I say masculine energy, it doesn't mean that they're a male. It just means that their um, divine masculine is more prominent. You know what I mean? Um, you have an, it, it looks platonic though. It looks like a friendship. I see like a real, true, friendly connection. I don't know whether some of you guys may have lost friends or friends may have like fallen away around you or just something like that. Or maybe you don't trust a lot of people around you or something like that. But I'm just hearing like a new friends coming in for you that you can like talk to about your experiences that's going to be on the same page as, as you. Some of you guys feel like a lot of people aren't on the same page as you. And I feel like a friend's coming in. And this friend's going to be really um, protective of you. Like, they're going to really love you for you. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes you guys struggle to have people see you for you. And this person is going to see... I just see you guys having, like, long conversations about, like, the universe and, like, you know, all that deep stuff. Like, I just see you guys having a lot of conversations with this particular person. You may meet them online or something. You may have, like, similar interests. It may be, be to do with one of you guys' hobbies. I'm not quite sure. They are kind of taking me there, but... I don't know. I don't know why that came through. I do feel like there's a friend coming in for you guys, like a new friend. I don't know. They're just showing me gateways of like new beginnings and then just like a new friend coming in. So that came through. But there is a lot of newness and a lot of abundance. You're on a new shift in your life and it's, it's I just said it, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> so um, just prepare for that, guys, because I feel like the grey clouds are gone. You know the song from, um, oh, who sings it? Kali Uchis, the song After the Storm features uh tyler the creator that's the song that's playing um so that's probably your song guys um, i'll probably put that in the description box for you guys to go listen to um yeah that song's really coming through um but yeah i'm just being shown like the gray clouds like moving away and then the sun coming out that's really what i'm being shown and um the universe just is really like applauding you like i'm hearing like warrior like you guys are like warriors you know what i mean i feel like you've literally gone f for some of you for some of you it's a little bit like that but some of you guys you literally have reached some dark points over the last two years i'm being told and you've really reached that those inner corners of your mind but it's like i'm being shown like you guys are badass like you like guys just like look to demons in your eye in the eye and you were like right let's go you know what i mean and that's just like strength and it's finest so i'm really proud of you guys um, I'm now going to move into your oracle cards and see what are the messages the universe has. So we have Harness, Harness Mystic Power, the High Priestess. Guys, like I said, you guys are like master manifestors. I think I had another pile that was like really good at manifesting. It might have been the other day. I, I said this the other day. I go into such a trance when I do these like readings that like I forget when I said what in what pile. But I really do feel like you guys are really good at working with energy. Really good at... um bring an energy to you and i don't even think you realize it yet i don't even think i think you subconsciously do it now like you don't even realize how good you are so definitely if you don't even know what law of attraction is or manifesting is look into it i just go watch the secret on netflix like look into it on youtube because i really do feel like you guys will be able to manifest whatever it is that you want into your life just by like putting that intention towards him because you have that drive and you're having this new bout of energy and you guys are quite fixed and quite driven i really do feel like you're going to be able to manifest a lot in um i do see some money coming in for you or like a job opportunity are you making money off of so i'm hearing like you guys are going to make money off something unique you know what i mean and they're linking you to a friend again i don't know why they're linking you to a friend i don't know whether you're gonna make a new friend or you maybe you already have a friend and you're just gonna like team up with them and do something i'm not quite sure that's just for some of you but i really feel like you're gonna start something with someone like a business with someone or like 
go down a certain avenue with somebody i'll meet someone while doing a hobby i'm not quite sure because it's different for all of you guys because this is a um a general reading but then we have this here see beyond the current situation i feel like right now some of you guys do you see how she's got the cloth over her head i feel like some of you guys may not yet be out of this cloudy energy um and spirit is saying like manifest the other side manifest the brighter side of it for example I'll, I'll explain to you guys like i was in a similar phase to what i'm actually explaining to you um from the era of like 2016 to 2018 and in 2018 i had a really bad year because of things externally and i think it was about the april when there was a lot of things going down and ariana grande released her song no tears left to cry and that was obviously like a really positive song and i was going through the worst and i was like every time i reach the end of the year things come full circle and i i realize things and i'm like oh my god and i up level and i get myself out of where i was at and even though what was going on around me was external it was nothing that i could do to change it i was like imagining myself feeling happy at the end of the year because everything was okay listening to that ariana grande song and by the end of 2018 everything was okay so it's like manifest that way out because the universe will give it to you you know what i mean manifest that clear mind the universe will respond to that you know what i mean so with see beyond the current situation i'm really picking up that but also like i said some of you guys are going to be tapping into some spiritual gifts and that's really what's coming up here i really do feel like there's some gifts that may need exploring because i feel like or maybe you're already exploring them but um let's like i'll do that so i can move that now um but yeah i really do feel like there's some gifts that you guys have that either you're suppressing or you're not aware of how strong they are yet maybe you're just like looking at them like oh you know like it's just like yeah like sometimes i see aura sometimes i hear spirit like sometimes i see spirit sometimes spirit like give me vivid dreams and like it's not like you're taking it too serious and spirit saying like it goes a lot deeper than that like if you really wanted to tap into that you could so I definitely would explore that, to be honest with you guys. And then we have Get Grounded, Empaths, Highly Sensitives, Connect with Nature. You guys are definite empaths. Like I said, you're really intuitive and I feel like you do have that connection with spirit. And I do feel like if you are feeling quite muffled, if you are feeling quite like there's a cloud, like, you know, a black cloud kind of like following you, I would really call you guys to go out in nature because actually when I was shuffling these cards, I was showing somebody swimming in a pool and uh, I really do feel like water for you guys is really therapeutic. A lot of you guys are star seeds, and if you don't know what star seeds are, I would definitely go look into that. But I'm really picking up like a lot of you are Pleiadian star seeds, and I'm just picking up like you heal through water, like you heal around. Sorry, guys, my camera cut out then. But like I was saying, you. Honestly, I'm really feeling like you heal around water and I feel like you guys need to get out into nature because I feel like you're going to feel more aligned and more connected. I don't know whether you guys are um, familiar with the term earthing, but what earthing is, is when you take your socks and shoes off and you put your bare feet on the ground, on the grass, and you soak up the energy of Mother Gaia and, well, Mother Earth, and that literally, like helps your body connect to mother guy and feel more grounded you know what i mean and this works for me so well and i just really feel like that would work for you guys but i'm also hearing like sometimes when you guys do go for a walk in nature or like you do go somewhere like that you have your earphones in and the reason i'm saying that is because there's a an elderly like spirit guide coming through i feel like she may have been one of you guys's grandmothers um i'm actually here an auntie as well so she could have been like a great auntie and she's coming through and she's saying take your earphones out like some of you guys have like earphones or headphones or like airpods and you always have them in and like this particular guide is coming through like take them out out like literally listen to your thoughts in silence like go to the ocean and listen to the beach waves in silence go to the forest listen to the wind in the trees in silence and you'll be able to connect a lot stronger you know what i mean i feel like you guys always have your earphones in and this lady's coming through and she's like take them out tell them to take it out you know what i mean so that's just for some of you guys um 
I feel like some of you guys get a little bit consumed in your phone and stuff and spirit's really calling you to just sit with your thoughts and go into nature because I really do feel like that will be therapeutic. Maybe take like a diary down there and like write in a diary, whatever comes to your mind. Um, I really do feel like that would help you guys a lot, to be honest with you. Um, if you guys are still stuck in that kind of grey cloud energy, but I really do see it being lifted soon. I really see it being lifted. And there's a highlight, they're showing me a highlight around November. So I don't know... Um, I don't know what time any of you guys are watching this, but if you're watching this when I put up the video, which is like we're going into October, that's literally like a month away and they're highlighting November. So um, you may start to have that renewed energy in November. You may already start having it. Sometimes it's just a mindset where you can just flip it um, and you don't even realize it because you've been stuck in stagnant energy for so long and then you can just flip it. Um, and just remember as well, like music heals. So maybe listen, listen to some more uplifting energies like uplifting music you know what i mean um the final card we have is tarantula and tarantula really represents wisdom and i really do feel like i don't want you guys to look at the last two years or any low points that you've been through and beat yourself up about it because you're watching this video right now you're still here and you've got through it that in itself is beautiful like you guys are so strong and it's like you had to you've gone through this and you've learned so much wisdom you may not realize it now but you have and it's like i'm being shown you may have like been drawn to pile one as well but i'm being shown like a phoenix rising from the ashes and just like being renewed that's really what i'm picking up from you guys and i just feel like there's so much wisdom and you have so much love from spirit and your spirit guides around you you have no idea and i feel like if you could see how much spirit is working with you at this time the fact that we had the signal rune like spirits really working with you you may not realize it but they are and you are so loved and i see so much newness coming into your life um within the next three to six months could already be happening you know what i mean divine timing but i'm really seeing a lot of newness coming in as a result of you working through all these old energies and there is a fatherly figure coming through so it could be like a grandfather or like um a father that may have passed away or it may just be um a spirit guide that was a father to you in like a past life but they're kind of um this may resonate with literally one of you because this is actually a particular soul coming through they have like a blue and white checked jumper um and they have square glasses and i don't know who they're talking to it feels like a female and they're saying i'm so proud of you so i don't know who that was for but if this resonates i'm hearing the word jack or like with a j like a j name like jack joe I, i'm leaning more towards jack um uh, but they're saying i'm so proud of you um and they're patting you on the back um so that that's beautiful that just kind of came through so um i hope that resonated um so anyway guys i really hope that you enjoyed this reading i hope this was able to bring you guys some clarity i'm sending you guys so much love and hopefully i will see you guys soon thank you for watching